54-year-old Glenn Ramdas was on Tuesday evening around 20 hours 10 attacked by two armed bandits as he was about to drive into his yard. The man said that he opened his gate and was about to drive in his car when two dark-skinned males pounced on him and demanded that he lie down. In an attempt to raise an alarm, the man began shouting bandits to alert his family members. Then we hear him coming, hello. Bandit, bandit, close up the door. So we closed up the door, and Daniel went over here, right? So after he said bandit, Daniel ran in the cupboard, and he, dra he grabbed a tooth tapper, and he ran outside with the uncle. And then that scared them away, then run away. That was Ramdas's reputed wife, Diana Takrudin, who added that the report was subsequently made to the Kurukuru police outpost. Thankful for his life, the woman said that the confused men ran out of their lot territory home with nothing. Takrudin said she believes that the men did not have a real gun since they did not hurt her husband. Yeah, we like police patrolling at night because in here got a lot of strange people walking up and down, up and down, who you don't even know because them two people, he said you never see them. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta get police patrol because you don't know these people. They're walking up and down, up and down. Earlier this month, the lifeless body of a 46 year old legal clerk, Gregory Frank, also called Wayne, was at about 4 hours 30 found lying face down in a pool of blood in the sitting room of his home at lot 686 Krukuru Suzdai Glendon Highway. The man was suspected to be killed during a robbery. The residents are therefore calling for more police patrols in the area. Davina Ramdas for the Evening News.